Yeah, Bucket needs to do actually as much damage as an assault can do. Seriously, you are really missing up when you don't use the shield or the damage amp. Yeah, Hank is just so good. <clears throat> It's too bad because the core concept of uh, Bucket is already done, right? He's a robot that deals damage, so you can't change that. I kept th saying that um, I'd like to see Bucket's U okay, UAV so be right like back. somewhat I'm automated. Right I'm surprised yeah, the it's still fun to fly it around, actually. So you can perhaps um, the, bo the uh, body will slow down. And the AI took over, so you can't attack or do anything, but it and it's slower. Well, or... uh, now that they've revealed kind of the silhouette of the fourth tier, and we see some sort of a bird-like creature, kind of, it's probably going to be similar to what I was thinking the UAV should be. Is that you pick a direction and you shoot the UAV, and it goes up above yeah. the map, and it goes in that direction, and it has like a very narrow angle. But if it spots any hostile or uh, monster, it'll tag him on the map for a while. Um, but that way you can keep up with the group because having sentries is good, but you have to be one of the first people there to make good use of them. Uh, yeah. And I always feel like as bucket, unless you have uh, a, a weird kind of strategy where everyone just stays near bucket. You're always last to the fight. Yeah. But if you are good at managing, you're actually not that far behind. But you can be uh, around 100 meters, and that's exactly too much. Yeah. I'm thinking the bucket would work well with Kyra, just because the two of them stay together, um, and then she can speed boost him back to the fight. But that means the two front people don't have a healer, and that really hurts Radio. trappers. Radio, I'm back. And an interesting thing, probably nothing. Um, but uh, I commented that I wish that one of the uh, hunt future hunters would be a uh, Scandinavian one, right? And <laughs> uh, Slab of Meat actually liked the comment. Nice. Doesn't have to be anything, but yeah. Could be something, could be nothing. Could be nothing. Just hey, Metcal, what were you mentioning? I just got back and you were talking about the trapper. Oh, the I. Medic. Oh, I was just saying that Bucket paired with Kyra is good because the two of them can hang back and then Kyra can boost Bucket back to the fight faster. Um, but then that leaves the the Assault and Trapper together without a healer for a while. Oh, so yeah. uh, uh, it's unless you're like... Uh, it really hurts Griffin it's more than so anything else. It's situational. The gameplay changes so much. Yeah. Throughout the only the downside to Griffin... Match, the, the only thing... scenarios are created. Yeah. Hey, like running drills for basketball or something, yeah. you know, to prepare for anything. But then but when it's live... Everything goes chaos. I feel like the biggest reason thing that I don't like about like I like Griffin, he's really good, but I hate when you're the bat last man standing because there's zero you can do to the monster. Is <laughs> Griffin? Yeah, for that last one, I saw you two getting um, getting knocked down, and it was just two of us up, and I'm like, I can't get down there. Yeah. So when I get down there, he's right on top of me, and I can't float. <laughs> so. Hoping maybe uh, one of us would pull away and then he would chase us, and then the other guy could get one of the people that were knocked down. I don't even see a single track mark. I'm still trying to figure out how the best way to go the monsters in the east direction. In combat. I figured out the dark thing up with twice and then around the direction goes really good. I guess it's a life. Any tips? What was the question? Uh, how to dodge properly during combat? As the monster or against? Against. Uh, there's a term called roaching. Uh, basically, you pretend to jump off, and if he's right behind you, then you just fall down and then go back up, and then he'll usually jump off. Oh. Good. Um, another another one is um, uh, a really good ability is to dodge twice without pushing for any directions and you jump yep. super high up and that's really yep. really good. I think he's in the cave. Right. Oh, he's back there. Back there the Down middle. specs to the northeast, northwest. Careful, guys! Don't try to eat your bodies. Remember that. He was all the way in the northwest birds. Northwest birds. I wonder why would you build a bridge right next to a pirate? Just just some like really. Probably built a bridge one time, should it? <laughs> Don't know. 
Maybe the monsters, or maybe the tyrants moved in after the monster cleared out all the humans. Yeah, he was like, this is a nice bridge, isn't it? I'm gonna set up camp right here. We have a stake of sound spikes going across the middle. I'll take this car so. I okay, hear. just took down a sensor over here. Or the wildlife did actually, I think. That one off. Yeah. He's in a warehouse, I think. Or oh, very close. He's inside. He's spot. I'm pretty sure. What kind of monster is he? spot, where is that? Oh god, you're all hurt, okay. Careful for them, yeah. Oh. No, over to the right. Down spike, right now. Down spike. Did they evolve? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's dead too. Inside this thing? Is that him? That's him. Come outside. Don't fight him in there. I'm down. Gotta go down. Gilly's up top. Blowing this down. Damn, with us? Yeah, I'm coming with you. Sam? No, well, the, the reason why we did Sunday oh, instead of Saturday is because we wanted at least one day to practice, um, and not everyone had Friday off. He just yeah. jumped down here. It's just like, yeah, I, I really wish I could do a part since that's a good to me. And I have good work. He did work as well. Good work out. Oh, that's it. Good job, Bart. Is this him? Going this way. Yep. Let me just see if I can catch him with that. This is him, he's marked. Dome's getting ready. Dome's going up. Okay, I'm gonna make it. Pirates here as well, Sam. Monster in the fire in the boat. Please help me, I'm gonna go down. Oh, okay, there you go, catch him. Oh, get the shield up, get the shield up. Yeah, let him fight the sloth. I'm gonna bombard him. Punish him. Trying to get you up, buddy. 
Got a Hearthstone. Thanks. Tyler, you're out of my range. Yeah, I'm in the tower. He's almost dead. When Good Hank, so good. Yeah, good job, medic staying away. Camille makes up with the damage amp, though, so he's funny as, as well. I don't know, I feel like Cab. I don't know, I haven't really liked Cabot. Why not? I don't know, it's just easy to knock around, so all you have to do really to uh, negate uh, Cab Cabot is just knock down uh, the assault for a few seconds until the. Cabot switches around, um, and then the medic's really easy to focus because you can just not because uh, you don't have to worry about Hank's shield. That's true. Uh, so the medic has to be able to take care of himself. Yeah. But when he <clears throat> when he can, it's not, he's he's decent. Like he's better than Bucket really against Ray uh, against Hank. I mean, like a team that can actually take care of themselves like a hundred percent. Uh, you can use bucket and as well. Like, yeah, the shield is just so good. The position you were in, Lazarus, was really good. Thank you. I had behind this, this tower. I had no chance to get to you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, man. I got a buddy talking to me on Steam asking me if I think it's worth buying. This is a rinse and repeat. Like, you can't justify spending $60 on a rinse and repeat game. I don't. Yeah, but it, that's it like every multiplayer expensive. game. Like, every. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what's the difference between this and a typical FPS or a MOBA game? Exactly. There's strategy and depth and tactics. 